Today, I brought you one unique movie. This movie is too complicated. But I did my best to explain this movie to my audience who are going to support me on Patreon. Right? Anyways, the movie begins in Warsaw in the year 2030. There was a girl interviewed by a three-man committee who informed her that the government decided to remove all her memories. As a result, she did not remember her identity. She is asked about the 1997 classic film Men in Black, where they used gadgets to remove people's memories. Here. The girl gets scared but still does not remember anything. The committee thanks her for cooperating, as they will give her a new identity according to their nation. She started crying and then she moved on. A few days earlier, Adam arrived in the city. His memories have been removed by the Secret Service so he has no memories of his past. He is blank in the head. Nothing on the outside, nothing on the inside. He meets a boy who gives him a card with a triangle shape. He assures Adam that he will recall his past one day. Adam visits a man who takes him to an abandoned building. The building was very old. The owner explains the qualities of the building, but Adam's mind is blank, not processing anything. The water is free and the light is full, but the owner gets upset when he finds Adam has no money in his account. However, he allows him to live free for one week and find work, suggesting cleaning work will suit him. The apartment was empty, so he slept on the floor but found it difficult to sleep. He had this nightmare where an old man is inserting chip inside him and giving him a new identity. The next day, he arrives at the building where he starts cleaning work. In break time, he arrives in the cafe and sees a girl eating food. However, he does not have money to buy food. He feels bad for himself when he sees everyone eating food. He gets up and leaves. Later, his colleague named Bernard appreciates his vacuuming duty and informs him about the place in the building where he is not allowed to clean because of an important project going on there. There is also a power break, and when it happens, he has to stand still and wait for light. If the light comes back, he can start work, but if not, he will take a longer break. He begins his cleaning duties when he meets a girl named Goria, who works in the same office. He is clearly attracted to her. Later, he goes to her cabin to see her, but she mocks him, saying he cannot be friends with other workers in the office as his job is very low. She was acting weird. She takes him out to discuss something and then blames him for distracting her. In the evening, he returns to his apartment when he receives a parcel from the house owner, who sends him a sleeping mat and pillow. He was about to go to sleep when he heard a noise. On seeing this, he finds a floor cleaning device. The next day, he meets his colleague in virtual reality. He was discussing with Bernard his arrival on this side of the island by boat, as he was scared of the blast. But the man suggested to him that he should have used a bypass as it was safe. He then asks Bernard about his work at Broom. At the office, Bernard takes him to his room, where there is no window and different liquids are placed there. Adam finds the radio and tries to use it. Bernard gives him a strange look and then questions where he came from, but he has no answer. Later, Goria arrives in the cabin and gets mad when she sees dust on her desk. She scolds Adam for not cleaning her office. He enters her office and gives her flowers, but she makes fun of him by saying that it would be expensive for him. He asks why she tries to hang around him, but she ignores his question. She taunts him for not having money. Meanwhile, the power goes out, and Adam takes advantage of it and kisses her. She enjoys the moment, but when the electricity comes back, she sees Bernard looking at them. She slaps Adam on the face and walks out. At night, Adam finds a radio in the apartment and then finds the wires to connect it properly. Fortunately, the radio starts working clearly, and he listens to music all night. This music box is ordinary, but it helps Adam to remember his past. The next day at the office, he meets Goria again. At the same time, there was a building outside that got demolished. We get a similar scene to the Fight Club movie. He spends time with Goria, and they make love together. When he returns home, he hears a strange sound. On arriving inside, he meets an old lady. He asks her who she is, but she didn't seem well mentally. Lady asked Adam what he was doing here, as she knew who Adam was. She is talking to the device he saw before in his apartment. The lady was calling that device her dog, which surprised him. Later, on the radio, he hears the advice of a doctor who explains different exercises for recalling memories, which includes remembering the triangle with a circle which we saw in the beginning of the movie. He had some flashbacks from the past, but they were blurry. In the flashback, we can see Goria is there with the old man. Okay, I know this is all confusing, but bear with me. You will get your answers soon. The following day, he meets Goria in the office, and she behaves rudely. He takes his radio to Bernard's room to show him. Bernard becomes happy seeing technology, but suddenly he gets emotional and scolds Adam for bringing a radio into his room. His eyes filled with tears while he said goodbye to the device. Adam takes it back to his apartment and starts listening to it again. The old lady living in the next apartment gets mad because of the radio's voice. While Adam was going through another flashback and remembering who he was, the old lady managed to throw the radio from the stairs. Adam gets upset and goes to Bernard, 
asking for help to recover the device for him. Bernard does not pay attention to him at first but later accepts his demand to help him. They arrive in the basement, but Bernard starts acting weird and sends Adam to the internet shop to find the information alone, as he is scared of the military. Adam arrives in an internet shop and starts looking for information. Here the story gets interesting as we find out that the government official who was assigned to keep an eye on him finds out that Adam is up to something. He calls his assistant and orders him to find Adam. Meanwhile, Adam breaks into other apartments in the building to take their radio devices. After connecting them together, the radio starts working, and he hears the same exercise lesson. By doing the same exercise, he remembers some memories. Now here's the plot twist. We are in 2023, but Adam remembers something from the year 1952. In Warsaw, he packed some stuff and boarded the bus. He arrives in another city where a military official is about to check his stuff. But at the last minute, after seeing his name and post as an engineer, he sends him inside without checking. He arrives in front of an apartment, hands over the package to the old man, and leaves. This old man is the same doctor we saw earlier in Adam's memories. Suddenly, he wakes up in the present and sees his head getting hit by the same floor cleaning device. An old lady was standing nearby, asking for the device which she is calling her dog. She sees his condition and then offers him green tea. At the dining table, while drinking tea, he asks her for a radio, and she brings a radio from her room and plays a song on it. She also starts singing along with the singer. He states that is not what he asked for. Meanwhile, the two army men meet another army lady who is their senior. They informed her about the case in 1977 and mentioned Fugitive 2204. She first scolds them for not doing their duty properly and then orders them to bring the target to the field. Adam returns to his apartment and opens the radio when he sees a blurry picture on the TV screen. He compares it with the picture in newspapers from 1950 with the headline of the first experimental TV program. The man explained the rule of using a triangle with a circle. Suddenly, Adam starts crying and has an emotional breakdown. The next day, Adam arrives in the office, wanting Goria to visit his house, as he wants to show her something. Bang, 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 bang. However, she first suggested he take her on a real date where they share a beer, and later they will spend time together at his apartment. At night, they go on a date, where Adam expresses the things happening in his life. He shares how at first, he felt that he was living in a dream, but then he started feeling everything. He was explaining when Goria noticed that a man sitting in a cafe was staring at them. The man was from the military and was searching for Adam. However, Adam does not pay attention to him and believes he is staring at Goria because she is beautiful. After a beer, he takes her on a walk to his apartment. At the apartment, he shows her his radio and TV, which she thinks are illegal, but he doesn't care. He plays a song that she finds boring, but then he takes her into the bedroom, and the two make love. She expresses his love for her, but she tells him she wants a mature guy with whom she can start a family. She is not interested in starting a family with him, as he is a freak. She wants to leave, but she becomes emotional and cries before leaving. Later, he visits the past again through the radio. This time we see a girl who resembles the old lady. She is playing with the dog, just like an old lady treats that floor cleaning device. Adam is in between some kind of experiment and all other men's are observing him. He wakes up in a room where he is surrounded by a group of men, and one of them is Professor Emphasiki, whom he saw on the TV screen and a newspaper page. He informs others of what he saw during the experiment. He is confused between reality and dreams and cannot differentiate between them. He begins crying. In the present, Goria is unable to contact Adam and asks Bernard about him, but Bernard is not interested in talking about him. Goria decides to visit him at his apartment. However, when she arrived, she saw him lying unconscious on the ground. She takes him to the hospital, where the doctor informs her that Adam is in a coma, but he has not gone through any physical damage so it is difficult for them to find the actual issue. She takes her to Adam's room, where he is lying unconscious. The doctor informs her that if he does not wake up tomorrow, he will never wake up again. Goria leaves the hospital. The two military men from earlier who were behind Adam arrive at the hospital. The next morning, Goria visits Bernard, asking about all the details he knows about Adam, but Bernard refuses to answer as he is discreet. She knows his secret that he is not a normal man but a robot so she tries to blackmail him. Wait, Bernard is a robot? This sounds familiar. Bernard? But still, he declines to release any information about Adam. Goria leaves the office and takes a boat to arrive at another side of the lake to buy a radio. Owner of the radio shop is the same old man who we saw earlier and who injects a tracking chip into Adam. She also questions the owner about traveling in time through the radio, but the owner tells her he is not a scientist. Meanwhile, the army men arrive in the building to check Bernard's data to find details about Adam. They use the Bernard system to find information and leave him there after copying information. Goria arrives at Adam's apartment with a radio. She then saw an old lady's cleaning device. 
She follows it and arrives at the old woman's apartment, where she sees Adam's photo frame. The old lady explains to her that she had a crush on him. That was his only picture. She offers her tea so they can have a chat. At the tea table, she tells her she is 83 years old, and Professor Emphazaki was her father. He was working on TV, and at night he performed experiments to escape from the Polish government and military by using alpha and theta waves. Kristoff, who is Adam in future or Adam in past, was her father's favorite assistant, and in 1952, Adam left his body for a few hours, but he returned. However, after a few days, Kristoff went missing and he never returned. Goria breaks the wall of the room to enter the office, which was used by the professor for an experiment. There she finds a file which contains different pictures with notes. She performs an experiment on herself and goes to the past where she meets Adam as Kristoff. So Adam is originally from the past but he has seen the future, but Goria is from the future who visited the past for Adam. Adam recognizes her and they both decide to wake up in future again. Meanwhile, the military arrives in the office where she was performing an experiment. However, an old lady was found deceased in the apartment. Finally, they found Goria and arrested her. At the same time, Adam also wakes up in the future, but he is also surrounded by government officials. Now we see that both are getting interviewed by a three-man committee. The memories of both have been removed by the government and now two work in the cleaning department. If you think about it, this futuristic version of the movie is unique and dark as we get to know that the government decides who remembers what. It doesn't matter if they are time travelers or normal people. Let me know what you think about this movie. Be sure to like and subscribe for more recaps like this.